Hello everyone. I hope that you're all having a wonderful day. This is, I'm Miss Barnes and I would like to assign a new project for you guys. So I was thinking, I know this is kind of simple language. This is for uh, K through two for sure. But if uh, kids three through five want to go through this, go ahead. Um, I would like for you to draw insects and you can observe them as well if you are able to go outside and explore, but only with your um, guardian's permission that, you know, that you go outside and stuff to go look under rocks and different things for bugs because there could also be snakes or other animals. So you need to make sure that someone's with you. Um, and just for, you know, permission. Um, but draw insects is what I have for us today because most of you have some drawing supplies somewhere, even if it's just notebook, paper, and a pencil or a pen, anything. Um, so scientists and artists look closely at insects. It says, tell what you see in these drawings. What parts of an insect can you name? Now, all insects have three parts. Okay, and they um, all have six legs. Okay, and they're three parts. They have their their head, their abdomen, and then their body. And then some have wings, some don't. Okay, um, or though we have wings two or four, maybe y'all do. And then they have antennas. Most of them have two antennas. Uh, so. Well, let's look at some bug facts real quick. Okay. I know this worksheet is not very um, cool looking, but it just has a lot of the cool facts. So it says insects are arthropods and they are over, uh, there are over a hundred million species representing over 90% of all living things on earth. So pretty much bugs rule the world. Okay. There's a whole lot of them and they're so tiny. Okay. Insects are divided into 32 groups, and the largest group is a beetle. One out of every four insects uh, is a beetle. Now, really fun fact, you guys all know that uh, Bowser eats insects, right? Okay, our cool lizard. So he, um, when he eats insects, he likes to eat these really large um, mealworms. And when he eats those... Um, those will even molt into a beetle. And when they are molting, they look kind of creepy, but um, they molt and they turn, they, then they turn into a beetle. And sometimes I'll find those in his cage. So I will go dig around and look. Um, insects have three body parts, a head, chest, or thorax. Okay, so that's what head, chest, or thorax, and then at stomach or abdomen. Okay, they also have six jointed legs, two antennae, and an exoskeleton, which has a sense organs for sensing light, sounds, temperature, wind, pressure, and smell. So the exoskeleton means that their skeletons are on the outside of their body. That's why on the outside of, let's say a cockroach, okay, it's harder or a beetle. Okay, but then if you're to smash them, they're all gooey inside. They don't have like bones like us. Most insects can fly. Bugs do not have lungs. They have compound eyes and they are cold blooded. So if you can remember animals that are cold blooded, they are the same temperature as around their outside. Okay, they're the their environment that they're in. So they can move really slow if it's cold and if it's warm, they're just running around. So insects eat more plants than any animal on earth. They also eat dead plants and animals and they themselves are a main source of food for many other animals. So yes, as I'm saying, Bowser likes to eat insects. So do all the birds. I'm constantly seeing birds running around with worms because they're all feeding their little babies right now um, due to it's spring and that's just when everything starts um, having babies. So um, most insects hatch from eggs. 
and pretty much there are so many different cool things about insects and i know that there are tons of videos that you could also watch that are probably way cooler than this one but to learn about insects but for now i want you to draw an insect now that this if you can go out that's fine or just kind of pick your favorite one so like right here i see that they have a really cool dragonfly those are pretty i know that everybody loves butterflies ladybugs are super cute um, and you can go on maybe you can draw your environment of where your insects are and you can show me um what they're all doing like ants for example they are really really strong even though they're so tiny they can pick up uh things like maybe 400 times their weight which is huge and then they carry it all the way back to their house and then they have one queen ant and so do uh, bees they have a queen bee and so the females in the insect world are the queens which i think is pretty cool um and they are awesome so so they do all kinds of cool stuff so i would like for you to show a picture of some insects doing some cool things and send it to moi okay um now let's say if you have some better uh, some different materials that are not just uh drawing and you say well i want to cut and paste my wings and stuff like that that's fine too okay you don't have to just use drawing materials you can use anything that your your heart desires if you want to make it 3d if you want to use some of the recycled cardboard that you have laying around your house maybe from some amazon boxes or something just be sure you ask permission first before you get do anything because i don't want anyone's parents mad at me but make something cool send it to me if you want it, the older kids if y'all want to do this as a digital art form that's fine too. So uh, insects are fun and they're cool. And then this one is an invent an insect. So let's say you don't find an insect that you just love, but maybe you wanna make up your own and pick out what it eats and what it does, that's fine too. But I want you to create your insect or more. You can have a whole bunch of insects, but create your artwork and then tell me about in your class about the insect tell me about you know what kind it is what is it like where does it live where can you find it all those types of things um and just really have fun i hope that you'll have a wonderful day and i am so excited to see these and i cannot wait and message me if you need me okay thanks bye